probably know by now, we've been celebrating an anniversary right here on NBC6. WTVJ turns 70. Yeah, that's 70 years of making a difference, bringing stories that matter to you, your community, your family, seven decades worth. Yeah, the turn of the new century came with a lot of major events that shaped our community and the way we really tell stories. NBC6 Morning anchor Shelley Muniz shows us. The huge manhunt for Andrew Kananen is over. He is dead. And you're watching the station that broke the news to the world. And it was the story that captivated the world in the late 90s and sparked a trend of major events with South Florida connections. It was the kind of story where things were happening very quickly. Italian fashion icon Gianni Versace killed at the hands of a serial killer who days later would be found with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. I remember sitting on the on the set with Tony Segreto and Michael Williams out in the field when they first found Andrew Cunanan uh, hiding in some boats on Miami Beach. Um, I think we did an incredible job breaking that story. Three years later, in 2000, our community would see another highly charged environment. This has been a very emotional case for everyone involved. And officials right now are trying to get his Miami relatives to voluntarily hand over the child to his father. South Florida was thrust into the national spotlight with the Elion Gonzalez saga. Six-year-old Elion was caught in the middle of a custody battle between family here in Miami and his father in Cuba. You're trying to take back. Boy. Get back up against the barrier now. You oh, go. Oh. Get out now. He was ultimately returned to Cuba after an early morning raid. Outraging many Cuban Americans, thousands of people marched the streets of Miami protesting. Oh, we're getting tear gassed again. Later in 2000. Florida is a very important state to the democratic process. South Florida was yet again under the microscope, this time over a presidential election. The infamous 2000 presidential recount, leaving the nation in limbo for weeks. The Supreme Court ultimately calling George W. Bush president of the United States. A year later, the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. That was a monumental story and it carried on for so long and it had that South Florida connection. All hands on deck here at WTVJ as our teams work to find out about these terrorists who lived among us. Colleagues describe the newsroom as somber, focused, on task to find out everything we could. And while these stories were evolving South Florida, our own newsroom was evolving too, to better serve you. This is our last day here, almost, at WTVJ NBC6. In 2001, WTVJ packed up and moved from downtown Miami to a 64,000 square foot structure in Miramar. It'd be home to not just WTVJ, but Telemundo. I had a dream uh, when we built this facility that we would have a Spanish language station and an English language station working side by side. We became the first television station uh, in the country to have a Spanish-English duopoly. I'm incredibly proud of that. And ironically, that duopoly, that partnership that we had side by side, being success successful together, launched NBC to buy Telemundo, which is now one of the, the great uh, television networks uh, in, in the country. Technology was quickly evolving. We had to adapt too. eventually going digital with a website. But as the stories have changed the landscape of South Florida, one thing hasn't. I think that the extraordinary thing that WTVJ has always done since day one is recognize that South Florida as a community may change and it is incumbent upon TVJ to reflect that change on the air and also in the stories that it does. And I don't think it's ever lost sight of that. And the industry continues to change. It's remarkable how much it has changed in the last decade. Now we have things like Instagram, which provides more resources for us. And you saw those familiar faces. Jose diaz Bellara, my predecessor, Pam Giganti, Jennifer Malapi. Now you can see more of them during our special this week. In the studio, Shelly Muniz, NBC6 News.